Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, last week we had a video talking about how to get and um, try to find a way to get into your router. One of the things that came through the weekend as questions are what is the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz when a router has both and what is the best option should I connect to the 2.4 or to the five gigahertz. So not all devices today still have five gigahertz implemented. A lot of devices are still stuck on 2.4, but more and more we have laptops and we have of course dual band routers that have these two connections possible. The 2.4 and five gigahertz refer to the frequency range where the device connects. And it has a huge difference when you connect to one or the other. And the differences are, first of all, it's possible that you're um, not going to have necessarily a pleasant experience sometimes on 2.4. And the reason why is everything works on that range. It is a overcrowded frequency range right now. So depending where you live, and especially in a big city with a lot of people around you, all the routers, all the devices, you might actually have a overcrowded 2.4. And that shows up most of the time by having problems with connection. A lot of people are using Wi-Fi and their laptops or their phones disconnect all the time and they wonder why. Well, it probably has to do with interference from this overcrowded band. That's why moving to 5 gigahertz in some cases might actually be a very good thing. There aren't that many 5 gigahertz devices yet, so that frequency range tends to be much more quiet, and so often you'll have less disconnects um, when you use the 5 gigahertz range. So if you're capable of using 5, do so it will, um, there's a good chance it will actually be much better than 2.4 if you have some connection problems. That said, 2.4 isn't all that bad. And the reason why? 2.4 will often give you more distance. So if you're capable of um, running the correct channel, because most people don't know, but 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are divided in different channels. And often a lot of devices use the same channels and you can sometimes avoid the interference by choosing a different channel. And so this means that you can actually avoid the neighbor's routers and you know interference by choosing a quiet channel. Sometimes you have, it's surprising actually how uh, even in a crowded area, sometimes you can choose a channel that is much quieter and that will make your connection better. It will also give you a great range. 2.4 gigahertz gives you a bigger range than 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz does not uh, propagate as far away. In general, the higher in frequency you go, the less you will have a distance that you can go through uh, in the uh, Wi-Fi. So here, for example, I do use five gigahertz preferred, but I always have my devices able to connect to 2.4 also. And the reason why is very simple. Inside my home, five gigahertz is great. When I go outside in the backyard, forget it, five gigahertz doesn't work anymore. It's sometimes visible, but it barely works. And my devices will actually switch to 2.4 when I do that. And on 2.4 in general, I get an okay signal and an okay speed for internet. Remember that the further away you are from your router, the less speed you will have also. That's why we tend to try to install routers at a central point. Unfortunately, people not knowing exactly how radio signals work often have a tendency to put the router at one end of the home or in the basement and they wonder why coverage isn't good because your router should be at a central point in your home, not at one end of the home. 
So 2.4 will give you more distance. If you need distance, that will be the frequency range you're going to choose. Is there another advantage of 2.4 versus 5? Well, 5 has the advantage of speed. 5 gigahertz gives you much faster connectivity. For example, here I've got 120 megabits internet. On 2.4, I rarely, rarely can go to that speed. On 2.4, I'll usually get around 60, 70 megabits per second. But when I switch to 5 gigahertz, I get my 120 megabits per second almost all the time. It is made for speed. So if you have very fast internet, you'll prefer 5 gigahertz because you'll have much faster Wi-Fi. 5 gigahertz is made for speed, not so for distance. And of course, because it is less popular, often you have less interference. So inside your home, you'll probably like 5 gigahertz better. If you need to go far away from your router, if you need to go outside your home in your backyard, or, then you might actually be better on 2.4. It depends a lot on what, uh, where you live and how many people around you are using routers and devices on these ranges. But that's pretty much what you have to learn about 2.4 versus 5 gigahertz. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.